I think the, the, the situation with climate change and global warming is, is urgent. As a person who has served my nation for 35 years in the uniform of the United States Navy, climate change is a national security problem. Energy security is a national security problem. Um, climate change will become a defense and security issue for four major reasons. There will be water wars, there will be oil wars, there will be massive migration on a scale that the world has never seen, and there will be massive food insecurity. And it's the kind of instability when governments and social organizations are unable to meet essential needs that will cause fragile governments and fragile structures to become failed. That creates a power vacuum. Into that power vacuum, as we've seen many times in our history, will, fill, will be filled by extremists and people who can actually use terrorism as a weapon to try to further their cause. Well, the two things that would be, I think, relevant to the United States as well as the UK will be the, the issues of migration, which we already have problems with in Europe and you have problems with in the US, are going to get much, much, much more extreme. Uh, similarly, with uh, food security, so much of our food is derived from the African subcontinent, from Central South America. Uh, if that starts to fail, and again, if that failure is also taken with um, oil shortages, which means that transportation starts to suffer, means food prices could go up a great deal, means there could be rioting about that. Uh, there is an expression which is called uh, nine meals from anarchy, which is literally, that means three days. Uh, from a point of view of if you were out of food, you would be, by the end of the third day, you would be stealing food from your neighbor and the situation would be out of control. And in every measure, climate change and energy dependency on fossil fuel is a significant, probably the biggest security challenge that we've, we've had. So what we have to do is we have to do everything we can as a nation in the United States and as an international community to prevent mitigate and adapt to the effects of climate change. You can't muster the force of nations to really begin fundamental changes in their energy and systems, their, their construction, the, their lifestyle patterns, without a profound understanding of the urgency of the situation. We've got to act now.